As dawn breaks, we head away from the city of Manjuli on the IC301 National Freeway. As far as I can see, the grasslands of Inner Mongolia is a blanket of white with spindly strands of straw-colored grass breaking through the snowy ground. Inner Mongolia is actually in China, not Mongolia. It borders both Mongolia and Russia. I'm in Genghis Khan territory, well almost. Genghis Khan's wife and his mother were both born in the Hulunbei province. Behind me is the Owen Kerr Folk Museum. The Owen Kerr people rose to prominence during the 17th and 18th centuries during the Qing dynasty. Traditional Mongolian herdsmen live in yurts, which are made from canvas in summer and wool in winter to withstand the extreme cold. I managed to take a peek inside and found them very warm and comfy. territory and these are Mongolian people dressed up for the Nadam festival. <laughs> There are three Mongolian tribes in Inner Mongolia and Mongolian culture is found throughout the region. Mongolians are skillful horsemen and love to wrestle. <laughs> local transport that they use during the winter when it snows. Me and my new buddy here are just about to make friends. The Bactrian camel has two humps and is native to the steppes of Central Asia. There are only a few hundred left in the wild and they are classified as critically endangered. Mongolian horses are known for their speed and stamina and are a source of pride for many Mongolians. Looks like our driver got a little bit too adventurous and we're stuck in the snow. Look around us, there's snow everywhere. If the driver doesn't get the bus back on the road soon, we might have to call upon the herdsman for help. So it looks like the van got out of this hole and it's taken off and left us behind. So now here we are running down the road, trying to catch up to the van. And my feet are freezing. <laughs> 